Okay, now we're going to take a look at a couple different functions of the gauge, um, utilizing our carriage here to help us achieve some perpendicularity and squareness measurements. So, with our carriage, you'll notice that we do have a floating carriage. The floating carriage allows us to eliminate any user feel. Um, it takes away the operator error. So if we engage this carriage a certain amount, it's always going to trigger a reading. Um, and that basically eliminates the ability of an operator getting a different reading. Somebody has a little bit more force than another person. We take that out of the equation by having this floating carriage triggering the probe to read. But what we can do is we can lock that. So if we take this little knob in the back behind our quick travel hand wheel, we're now eliminating that float. That's going to be very critical when we want to take a perpendicularity or squareness measurement. So we do have the ability to adapt a test indicator to the gauge. Um, you just have a test indicator with an 8 millimeter shank adapter on the end and we can remove our probe and put our test indicator on. And now we're going to be attracting all of our attention to the reading on the indicator as opposed to the readings on the display. As we, as we ad adapt our, our test indicator, we're going to travel up and down our part and we're going to be able to calculate the squareness of the gauge. Each of the Tremos gauges has a squareness spec up that applies to them. Um, as they grow taller, they, the, the squareness spec grows as well. Um, but you can utilize the spec from the certification on the gauge to your part and you can transfer the, the difference from the gauge to your part and we can figure out exactly the perpendicularity or squareness of your part.